The third type of keyword is called broad match. Broad match keywords target searches that are somewhat related to your keyword. If your keyword was Google Ads courses, then you might show up in searches such as Google Ads or what is Google. Now, these users are most likely looking to log into their own Google Ads account or do a whole range of other activities that aren't related to looking for a Google Ads course. These are not the types of searches where I want my budget to go to. Keep in mind, every additional search you appear for and get clicked on is taking away budget from your other keywords. And to begin with, I want to be in front of as many people looking exactly for my product or service, which is why we use exact and phrase match. With broad match, you can appear for some relevant terms, though the majority of the traffic will be very broad. There are some very specific use cases where this match type can be used, though as a general rule, we suggest you avoid them. Now the only real pro that we have for broad match keywords is that they are the lowest cost keywords. Though this is due to the keyword picking up on such a large range of search terms that no one else is bidding on. This is also the negative. They are the highest cost for relevant search terms. Even though the broad keywords are the lowest cost, the cost for relevant searches is usually the highest as there's so much irrelevant traffic that you have to pay for before you get the good searches. And again, very broad and irrelevant traffic. The search terms that you appear for will often not be relevant to your business and its objectives. The following is a short summary of the most important parts of the past few sections. Number one, to simplify keyword match types, you can remember it like this. Exact match is very specific search terms. Phrase match is slightly broader. And broad match is very, very broad. Now, the second one is that in each ad group, you should use both exact and phrase match keywords for the same keyword lists you're going to include. We'll show you how to do this in the next section.